Question number four. Points A, B, C, D, and E represent snow shelters in the Blackbird National Forest. These snow shelters are illustrated in the following coordinate axes. Calculate the gradient of line segment AE. So far, this is pretty easy. You need to figure out the gradient. Gradient for IB is slope of the line segment AE. So I'm going to take the points. This is for part A. A is 3 comma 1. E is 7 comma 3. To figure out the gradient, you're going to use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It is in the formula packet. 3 minus 1 over 7 minus 3 is equal to 2 fourths, which is equal to 1 half. And there you're going to have your two points. The park ranger draws three straight lines to form an incomplete Voronoi diagram. Find the equation of the line which would complete the Voronoi cell containing site E. Give your answer in the form AX plus BY plus D equals 0, where A comma B comma D are integers. This is what we call standard form or general form. And in a previous video, I told you the three requirements for general form, which are that the X has to be positive, it has to be set equal to zero, and there can be no fractions or decimals. In order for us to find the equation of the line which would complete the Voronoi cell, we're going to have to go back and think about what these are. So we're talking about edges. Edges are the perpendicular bisectors between two sites. For example, for sites E, and D, if I were to connect these with a straight line, the perpendicular bisector is going to be right here in yellow. Okay, so that's the perpendicular bisector for ED. So that means that for ED, I already have the perpendicular bisector. Let's go ahead and talk about EC, for example. If I do EC, this is the line that connects EC, so the perpendicular bisector is going to be this long one right here which means that so far we have the edge of ED and EC. Let's go ahead and look at EB. Here's E, here's B, so hopefully by now I think you're starting to get the point. This is the segment that connects EB, so this would be the perpendicular bisector for that segment, so that is the edge, which is part of the Voronoi diagram. So far that means that we have edges for ED, EC, EB, so now let's go ahead and look at what happens with EA. Here is E, here is A. This right here would be the segment that connects EA, and we don't have the perpendicular bisector to EA, which is going to be somewhere right here. So this means that the one that is missing is going to be this one right here that is going to be the perpendicular bisector for AE. Our job now is to find the equation of that line. So you want to find basically the slope of AE. Let's go ahead and copy down the ordered pair for A and E. The slope we already figured out because remember that's what they just asked us to do in part A. So I know the slope of AE is going to be one half. Now I have to figure out the midpoint which is 3 plus 7 over 2 comma 1 plus 3 over 2 which is 10 over 2 comma 4 over 2 and so this is 5 comma 2 but remember that we don't want the slope of AE this is AE right here instead we want the negative reciprocal because we want the slope of the line that is perpendicular to AE so the perpendicular slope instead of 1 over 2 it's going to be 2 over 1 and instead of positive it's going to be negative so now we have to figure out the equation of the line using the perpendicular slope and the midpoint. So I'm going to go ahead and do this first in point slope form. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. This would have been the answer except for the fact that they were very specific. They wanted this in general form. So that means that I'm going to have to distribute negative 2x plus 10. And then because I actually want this in general form, I told you the three requirements are that X has to be positive, it has to be set equal to zero, and there can be no fractions, no decimals. Right now there are no fractions, no decimals, which is awesome, but I do have a negative X. So I'm gonna take the X over to the other side, and I'm gonna go ahead and set it equal to zero by subtracting 10 as well. So I'm going to end up with two X plus Y minus 12 is equal to zero, and this is going to be my answer in standard form.
For part C, it says, in the context of the question, always watch out for when they ask you for the context of the question, because that means that you have to go back and remember what this question is about. In this case, we're talking about snow shelters in the Blackburn National Forest. So that is the key words here, snow shelters, when you want to answer this question, because it is in the context of the question. It says, explain the significance of the Voronoi cell containing site E. Basically, what this means is that every point in the cell is closer to E than any other snow shelter. And to get the full marks, you have to make sure that you write this in context, and this is regarding snow shelters.